trying to feed a little protein to the chickens. And as you guys can see, we got them guys in there thicker than a snicker. There's a frog, well, right about in that area, right in here. And uh, I think he's gonna make good bait. I'm gonna get Maria to hold this camera back off here. And I'm gonna go off here and try to get him. Like he's dead meat. Oh no, he got away. He wiggled up under there. Maria asked me if I had a burn permit. I told her no, but I got a pretty good lighter. <laughs> we got about six or seven different kinds in here. We got East Eggers, we got Bard Rocks, we got Plymouth Rocks, uh, we got Rock and Roll, we got a little bit of everything inside of here. We got crosses, we got uh golden lace why not along with some blue lace wide and nuts. We got silky cross. Oh, this pin right here just turned into the oops pin is when it's turned. Let's put clean up on that for Let's get on to these silkies. Let's get them right on out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Class Creek, back again with no one. We're getting after it today. Country style! I guess that's what DJ was talking about. DJ told y'all we had to get after the country style today. We've got to get this fence put back up around this pond area here. Well, reason being because Molly crossed that pond side. Well, this is where she's going to be raising her babies. Well, that's right. She went and got knocked up again. And uh, this is where she's going to be raising them at. I'm going to take y'all with us as we get to you to put them up. And, uh, we're going to go all the way up that side there. Well, where Bruce is. And we're gonna get that calf out of there as well. And uh, back down the other. Come on with us, y'all. We got a lot of tasks to do today. We gotta move some birds, uh, move the dogs. Well, we're gonna do some feeding and uh, a whole bunch of getting after it. Well, the boys and I, they helped Maria get this thing on up. And uh, we got it fenced on and around it. Looks like she pounced on them. She ain't much liking the place, but uh, she'll set them in. We're gonna get her puppies and bring them down here and put them inside of a dog house. And, uh, they might swim out there and play in it. We don't know. We getting them guys loaded up. Well, in that old transport crate here and up. Well, we got to get them delivered out to Molly there. That way she won't panic too much. We got five or six and we loading up the rest. Y'all come on with us. Thanks for watching. Imagine a dirt roll and a pothole. Hunter didn't carry his tears, he was in the basket. We're getting them guys brought on over though. Bruce said he's coming to check him out. Well, there's the sire there. Well, yeah, SQ, SQ. Look, they trying to come out of there. Well, they look like they said, what took y'all so long with our mama? Well, woo, she nursing them guys out. Well, they gonna be future protectors of, well, maybe one of y'all's herb. Who knows, who knows? But uh, them guys, well, they're getting properly trained to electricity now and uh, well, by the time they make it to your farm or your homestead, well, they'll be ready to do their job and back it up. Them cows, they're laid out under that grass. Well, in a way, I wish I could be one of them cows just lay down under that shade tree instead of having to get to work. But, uh, we are doing a little work today. Uh, well, next assignment, that's why I'm walking you guys this way. Uh, well, what we're going to do is, well, with that old trampoline leftover piece there, uh, we're going to take this green garden fence down that you guys see coming out to here. And we're going to make some temporary squares to put our chicks out on grass. And, uh, well, we're going to use that black vinyl there. Supply a little shade over the top. Y'all, we let Loud Mouth out. He's in the background there. And, uh, well, his mouth is still loud. Woo. Let's get this stuff picked up and get started. I guess I ain't been all the way honest with some of you who's watching this thing. Well, we've been doing some work. But, uh, yeah, we've been doing a little fishing too. Well, it seems as if... 
this old rod here is on the swim. Uh, we threw down some sun fishing. Well, that bait should have been dead a long time ago, and that rod's on the move. Uh, let's put some steel in his jaw. Here he is right there. Let's see what he had to have. He said he don't care nothing about no subscribing or none of that. Well, he's mad. Ooh. Well, he's trying to put some he's trying to put some bend in that old fluorocarbon. Let's get him. Oh, fun sizer. Fun sizer at best. Well, he's not very big. Well, he just thinks he is, but he's tough. Woo. Let's get him on out here. I don't know who's interrupting the homestead video. Now that's it. Come on. Come on. Show's over. You interrupted a homestead video. And well, for that, it's going to cost you your life. Let's get this. Let's get this steel out the side of his jaw. There he is right there. Well, I had to take him to get that steel out the side of his jaw there. And, uh, well, let's take him to his new home. Ooh, tough. He said he was going to smack that camera. He don't care nothing about today being Sunday. He said you should be at church and not watching cross the daggum creek anyway. Ooh, ooh. He said he don't care nothing about no collard green, no center junior, none of it. Get him dropped on off. <laughs> well, but they got it in the comment section there that said uh, let them die first. Well, if you happen to catch this one, I'd like for you to know, well, we're still not letting them die, and uh, God still don't sleep. Go to work, Esther. That's un-Esther right there. Go to work. Y'all, let's get back out of here. We got some of them chickens from the chicken trailer park lit out on grass, and, uh, well, the silkies are right next to them, if you guys can see right down through there. Well, the silkies end up coming out of this wood one here during the day, and, uh, well, we put them in that old gray one through there during the daytime. Well, they can get grass and bugs and worms and everything else. Uh, the boys been like chasing down worms this week. So we've been doing a lot of digging and, well, vermiculture type work to get these guys fed with a good source of protein and all. But uh, they're doing good. They're doing very well. We've got them guys, well, where they need to be. But what I want to show you guys was, well, before we get there, let's stop visiting some silkies there. You're doing good, doing good. Some of these guys are getting a little bigger, like that brown guy there on the left. Well, he'll move next door. He had to go upstairs. He's been graduated from the holding cell, and well, we're gonna take him up to well the top floor, the top floor. Oh, uh, come on over here. I want to show you guys something. Maria and I, well, we caught some fish out of that hole there. Well, it's been a bunch of snakes and crawfish in there too. But uh, well, we've added to the chicken trailer park. Well, we've really outdone ourselves on this one. Well, what you guys see here is that old garden wire that I told you guys we were going to take. Well, we got it wrapped around with some uh, temporary posts. And, uh, well, you guys know that's a delicacy there. And, uh, well, we got it shaded in with the SPF top. SPF top. Sure is. Yes. Uh, old broken down trampoline. We're using that at the top. And, well, this will be a temporary pin. We'll move the babies because the sticks there just pull up. And uh, we'll move them down through this area keep them on grass throughout the summer. But uh, I wanted to check in and show you guys that. And, uh, well, Maria and I, we got some ducks and that sort of thing. We got to go up here and move around. But uh, setting up and uh, it's coming along nicely. The boys out filling up these buckets for some dirt here. And the reason being is, well, we got to redo the bottom of that old silky pen there where it's then got saturated and muddy. And we're going to bring some more shavings in country style. Uh, bit by bit, board by board. It builds character. It builds character. Y'all having fun? Sure. They said the best they can. They ain't having too much fun, but they getting after it. And sometimes it takes that. Sometimes it takes that. Let's go check on Maria. What we're going to do is we're going to pull all them silkies that's laying eggs and such in there. And that male, we're going to move them one row over here. And these guys here, well, we're going to move them one row over as well. And that'll allow us to, well, let down our old make craft uh, handmade uh, door here. And that'll let the ducks be able to come through and do some laying as well this spring. Maria and I got them silkies moved around and well, everybody's enjoying the place. Old Loud Mouse then got him a new home and well, that's where they'll be hatching off the silky babies from here on out. Uh, who's still learning how to work the place? Somebody needs to tell him you don't exit that way. But, uh, set up, y'all. 
these guys are made release. Well, they've been released from the Vegas holding cell. And uh, they're enjoying their freedom. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the new inmates. Well, and here's the new inmates here. Well, we took the door back down there. This door here is swung it open. That way they can come on through. And they're going to use that area up back that way to nest a little bit. But, uh, they said they don't really know many of you. And, uh, they said they don't know this area, but this is where we'll be feeding them in. We'll feed them in this area here. They'll lay the eggs there, hatch them off there, and they'll take them to the water this way. Let's get on to the next spot here. Well, and then those roosters that we had in the other area there. Yeah, we moved them over as well. Y'all loud, loud. That, that old pig there back there working on old catfish head, look like. We've added guineas to this area here as well. And uh, we got them a couple different areas to nest in. And, well... We're gonna add some more water to that thing today as well. We've got to have a couple different waters in for the chickens as well. But uh, everybody's enjoying the new setup. Some of them guys say they don't care about no setup. They rather fight and go at it. But uh, we've been knocking out a bunch of chores today, and uh, we appreciate you guys coming with us all day long. Uh, next, we've got to do some cleaning up. We're gonna burn some trash and some old wood and all. And uh, if you got nothing else to do, come on with us. Time to feed a little protein to the chickens. We're going to take them over to these chicks and get them fed out. Let them enjoy the diet. <laughs> We're dropping worms in there one at a time. And them chicks, well, some of them not even letting them hit the ground. Good way to add a little protein to them. They're so young that we can't free range them, so, so they don't have to get out and hunt the worms. We bring the worms to them. So, Ed Nessa, you sure I can't stay? Uh oh, his life's over. Peace out. So we're gonna feed the worms to these guys, and uh, well, if they leave us any left in there, me and Maria may go feed the silkies. We don't know. Oh, we might go fishing with the oh, yeah. What she said. He's out. And what she said. Oh, yeah. Whatever that is. Apparently, I'm not here. I was pulling this sucker behind me, and Maria decided she cracked jokes. She said it looked like some sort of wheel going But What y'all see right here is just a classification. Well, a good in part three. Let's burn it up. Maria was over here working real hard to get our trash tower uh, lit up. And uh, I was over there working real hard to gather bait from the old bait pond. I run into a nice bluegill on top there and it's sunfish here and they make good live bait. I'm gonna get back to work over here and uh, I'm gonna let her get back to work on this. We're just hanging around, burning it down, sipping on some cold Jack Daniels. I believe that's what the song says. What you think, baby girl? It's just oozing left and right. That nest is getting ready to fall right in the middle of y'all's TV screen. They say GoPro or not, we're getting ready to burn it up. <sighs> we're going to let these guys burn it up. Y'all you know. well, step back. You guys don't want to hear that. Maria's on the way with the water. Well, you have to remain cautious safety when you start these old country fires, guys. Well, back in the day, me and my brothers, we used to bet each other five dollars who can run and jump over. I bet you can. Ah, bet me five dollars I can right now. I'll take the camera with me on my way over. Double or nothing. <laughs> well, Rachel, if you watch this thing, I don't know if that's good odds or not. But about like rolling a six or eight, I guess. Maybe I can make it over. Get some more water. What y'all playing? Ring around the rosy? Yes. I thought we were supposed to be in work. Well, I apologize, people. I know this is supposed to be a homestead work video, but sometimes my children just goof off and cut up. They can't help it. I don't know where they get that from. I had to explain to her you don't need no burn permit. All you need is a pretty good lighter. You can get your place cleaned up country style. What about the ozone layer? Well, I don't know about the ozone, but this zone right here, setting up just right. I know about the 2-3 zone. 
I'm about to two threes on. Let's get a little closer. We gotta get that old two by four. Woo. I'm talking about hot. Listen, Maria said if y'all don't want to end up there, make sure you say in your prayers before you close your eyes at night. I told Maria the romance the time's over. I gotta do a quick thing with you. So if you're watching this thing, well, go ahead and take the volume on your TV there and uh, crank it all the way up. We gotta get these guys, I'm talking about NASCAR pit style crank the volume up. Gone all the days on this one. Well, I used to have to watch a little Casey Kane myself. That's right. My father watched a little NASCAR there. Yeah. And them Cowboys got done a losing. Well, I had to watch old Richard Hendricks Motorsport go around and make them left hand turns over and over and over. Over and over. Again and again. Well, I guess they might make up in the end. I believe that's what those country songs say. But, uh, we're gonna get in here and feed these old ducks. Well, they waiting on us today. They said they trying out that new place we got for them and well. They say it's all right so far. It's all right. They say it ain't all cracked up as what we make it to be, they say. Uh, they say the rent too high, the toilets run, and the roof leaks. Woo. Y'all deal with it. That's just the market world we're in today. Pay us half a million for it. Let's get moving. Got to get back over here to my feed. Well, I didn't tell y'all. Maria moved them silkies around on us, too. Let's get on. Y'all see, y'all see me shove that old buckle up and out the way this year? I told him, get on out the way. I can't have him coming here. Well, if he come in here, he'll be an early preteen, uh, pre-marital mother is what he'll be. Yeah. Yeah. That rooster over there say, it's mate time. He say he wants to top this hen. Well, if I don't block, he say, if I don't block. But uh, them hens say they come out of there, you know. Well, they'll have a little bit of that old corn if it ain't too dry. Well, it's utopia. Y'all better eat it. I'm gonna get into eating up there. I just put a little more corn in there. Came out of there with the most silkies, and I said, well, that ain't really enough. Well, I forgot Maria moved some animals around. We added some more birds to this pen here. And, uh, well, that requires more food. Y'all, the cows are standing behind me. They staring me down like, what's taking so long? Let me get on out there. Well, made our way. Stop in. Gotta feed these old rabbits. I got the feed. Well, let me show him the units. He may come up here. He may not. He said he ain't coming right now. He's got something else on his mind, evidently. But I was going to show you guys B-Rabbit. Since he didn't come, I'll come down there to him. I was going to show you guys right there B-Rabbit. Well, the one on the right there. Oh, left now, right there. Well, if you want to know why I call him B-Rabbit, well, I can't explain to you on this one here. Got to keep it G-Rabbit. Put that old orbit in my bowl there. Well, if he eat all that, he don't know. I may have to eat him. Let's go feed the other rabbit. Uh, as we're making our way over here, I need to take the time to tell anybody uh, struggling with anything. Well, God don't sleep. Y'all know that. That's good right there. We can't overfeed. Them cows been made the way on in. They said they got to have their share for sure. They said, do not leave them out of the feeding rotation today. We've been finished up with all the feeding and all. And uh, this guy's burning down to, well, to his last remains. And uh, we appreciate you guys coming with us every Sunday. And I encourage you. Well, if this is your first one, check out another. And uh, be on the lookout for these things every Sunday morning about, well, about 8 a.m. I didn't do no good fishing behind me. Didn't hardly catch nothing. Well, let me just stop it right there. This outro just getting longer and longer. And, well, Skylar's looking at me like she's got other stuff to do.